All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the harsh truth, the real reason you guys aren't able to put on size. I've been getting so many Snapchat messages and DMs from guys saying, Tanner, I'm doing everything that's required. I can't put on size. I think I'm an ectomorph or a hard gainer. Listen, that's bullshit, that's cop out, and I'm gonna tell you the real reason that you're not able to put on size. So we're gonna explain this by giving you guys two examples of people that I have personally known, you know, people that have a tough time putting on muscle mass or a quote unquote hard gainer or ectomorph, okay? One was unsuccessful and one was very successful. We're gonna compare the differences between them and it's gonna make this thing so crystal clear as to why some people fail and some people succeed when it goes to putting on muscle mass. My first friend we're gonna start off, we're gonna give him the name Chris, okay? He started a workout program, he showed it to me, it was a three day a week workout program. I said, listen, this is great. Of course you're gonna be able to see some gains with this, just commit onto it. He goes, okay, I entirely will. So he trains for about eight weeks on this thing. And then after eight weeks, he comes up to me and he goes, Tanner, I haven't been able to see any results, man. It's been eight weeks and I haven't seen any results. I can't put on size. I think I'm an ectomorph or a hard gainer. Uh, I, just, I don't know. I think this is just not for me. And I go, okay, well, let's, let's diagnose this a little bit here. So the first thing I start off with, I say is, so how is your training going, you know? How many days a week are you in the gym? Are you training three days a week? And he goes, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to get in there three days a week. Most of the time, I'm in there about two days a week. I did a couple of weeks where I was training three times per week, but there were a couple of weeks also where I like had flat out no time and uh, I was only able to train once per week. And I go, okay, there's the first thing. So the next thing I asked him, I go, so how have your lifts been improving? Did you increase your strength and your compound lifts? You know, your bench presses, deadlifts, squats, overhead presses, and he goes, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. And I go, what do you mean you don't know? Were you not tracking uh, those key lifts, the compound movement lifts? And he goes, no. And I go, okay, so that's thing number two. And then the next question I asked him, I say, so are you getting in a calorie surplus every single day? And he goes, what's a calorie surplus? And I go, what do you mean, what, what's a calorie surplus? That means you're eating more calories than your body needs on a daily basis in order to put on muscle. You're not doing that? And he goes, uh, well, I was just getting a lot of food. I was trying to eat more than I was uh, before I started working out. And I'm pretty sure I was. And I go, okay, there's another reason. So then the last question I asked him was, I say, how many grams of protein are you getting in every single day? And he goes, you know, I've been eating more protein. I've been trying to eat more chicken breast and I got myself some high protein vector cereal, the same thing that you eat. So I ask him, I say, do you know how many grams of protein that you need on a daily basis in order to gain muscle mass? And he goes, no. So then I go, okay. That makes sense. I know why you're not putting on any size. Now I'm gonna explain to you guys my second friend. We're gonna call him Eric. Eric was in the same situation as Chris. However, Eric succeeded beyond his wildest dreams of putting on masks. So my friend Eric was actually working out with me. So I was able to monitor and overlook everything he was doing training wise to ensure he was absolutely crushing it. So in about the same time span as my friend Chris was doing, about an eight week period, you know, Eric and I were in the gym three times per week. 45 minutes. We crushed our workouts, pushed to failure, but most importantly, we tracked our compound lifts, the key lifts, squats, deadlifts, overhead presses, bench presses, and each and every single week, we attempted to beat those numbers. Eric did a great job at constantly pushing himself and lifting a little bit more in each and every single workout, whether it had been five pounds more or 10 pounds more, he always executed on that. When it came to our workouts, Eric and I were in the gym in that eight week period, I think he only missed one workout and it was because he actually couldn't go because he had the flu uh, he got it right before the weekend and then the next important thing was because he asked me he asked me on the first day he goes how much food should i be eating on a daily basis and i go okay let's calculate this together we used the harris benedict equation we calculated the amount of calories he needed on a daily basis and because this was a quote-unquote ectomorph or hard gainer somebody that does have a little bit of a tougher time putting on mass i said let's make your calorie surplus about you know, 500. So he knew the exact amount of calories he needed on a daily basis in order to put on mass, and he executed every single day. He always tracked it. He used my fitness pal for the first couple of weeks just so that he could truly get an idea of how much food he needed. And then after that, he was pretty much able to freehand it because he knew what he was doing. And then the next important thing he asked me, he says, you know, Tanner, how much protein do I need on a daily basis? And I go, oh man, that's simple one gram of protein per pound of body weight. He goes, okay, that's not too hard. And uh, the same way he did with the calories, he was tracking those on my fitness pal for the first one to two weeks. He did the same thing with the protein. After that, he was able to freehand it because he knew what to eat in order to hit those goals. Now, not just that, but Eric also managed to track 
his weight. He was always weighing it. He weighed in every day. He was doing before and after pictures. He would do them in the morning and at night. And he was consistently checking up on his results, on his progress. So after eight weeks, Eric, man, he put on about 12 pounds of lean muscle mass. He absolutely crushed it. He was killing his workouts. He was hitting the calorie surplus. He was getting one gram of protein per pound of body weight. He was consistent. He was tracking his progress and he was attempting to lift more each and every single week. And he was doing it pretty consistently as well. And as I said, Eric was a successful one. He put on 12 pounds of muscle mass. So there's three main takeaways you need to take from this right now. Thing number one, consistency is key. You can't let your foot up off the gas three times per week or it's not going to work. Thing number two, you need to know what's required out of you nutrition wise. How much of a calorie surplus you need, how many grams of protein you need as well. And you need to execute on those every single day. And then thing number three, you need to track your progress. And that goes for lifting weights. You need to track how much you're able to lift and you need to constantly challenge yourself, okay, with your big compound movements. And then also you need to track your progress, whether that be with a measuring tape, whether that be on the scale, whether that be pictures of your before and after. These things are gonna keep you consistent. When you tie all of these things together, that is what's going to get you success. So there you guys go. I hope I was really able to enlighten you to shed some light onto the main reason as to why you are unable to put on muscle mass. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to give your boy a like down below, and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.